Hey everybody, Matty Ice here, and in today's video I'm going to take you through the weekly changes for Zero Hour and how you can get the new intrinsic, the ship schematic parts, and the rewind rounds perk. So if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. But we're going to go ahead and start this all off by talking to Ada here and picking up the Outback Refine 2 quest, which, just like last time, you have to go kill some Fallen, and you have to do that in a specific Lost Sector this time. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and load into Zero Hour. I recommend doing Normal first, just so you can kind of explore around and see what's going on. And you're not under the same time pressure as Normal. But when you get to this hangar area here, this is where the second switches for the Vault Puzzle is going to be. So go ahead and go to the left side, like the Normal Path normally takes you. And up against the back wall is actually going to be the switch to start the temporary clearance granted to open the Vault Room. The first panel is going to be located under the stairs immediately to the right. The second panel is going to be on this middle floor under the stairs there. And then the final panel is going to be at the top section all the way in the back. So go ahead and shoot those in the proper order using your outbreak in order to get the vault clearance sequence done. And then once you do that, go ahead and head all the way to the vault. Don't forget there is a map on the wall here. And this map is going to guide you through the vault maze. Once somebody gets through there though, you can just have them deactivate the switch. And on the screen here, I'm going to have all the different vault combinations. There's three that they cycle through one after another. So this particular week is the quote unquote void week. They're labeled different names like Arc Void Solar. Uh, that's like the old naming conventions for them that kind of just stuck around. That's why I recommend doing this on normal though because this map does not show up on legend, but they correspond to each other. So it's gonna be the same in your legend run, but that's why I recommend doing normal first to so kind of see what the path is and then you can translate that into your legend run. But otherwise, just go ahead and go up to the screen panel here like normal. This is going to be the diamond door, so it's going to be the one on the top left. You can see it's in like a diamond shape. And just like last time in the video I explained, the hollowed out arrows are going to correspond to the nodes inside the room, and the filled in red arrows correspond to the nodes in the hallway. So go ahead and activate those in the correct order. You can see I'm kind of going to them here. And when you activate the final one, it's going to give you the corruption spreads 3, intrinsic and another part of the ship schematic so go ahead and finish off your normal run there or just back out because you're pretty much done and then you want to load up legend so for legend you're looking for the two catalyst switches now if you've done last week's this week's is immediately in the room after that where you have to do like this back and forth jumping with the fallen and all that the switch is immediately on that first platform to the right and you have 30 seconds to get to the next one it takes about 15 seconds to get to the next one, and sorry I don't have it on screen here, I didn't record my version of it, but you can see here that Sniper was able to get it when he activates the second switch down here. So activate that first switch, follow the path all the way to the end, and immediately take a left at the red pipes in order to get the progress for Outbreak Refined 2. So then just finish up your mission to finish up that quest, and then go talk to Ada like normal. Talking to Ada is going to get you the rewind round perk, which is going to be probably the he most heavily used perk on Outbreak. It's essentially going to allow you to shoot infinitely as long as you're able to hit your shots. But that's going to be it for Zero Hour this week. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.